What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast I had a jalapeno bagel and a couple slices of pizza and a banana um, and some coffee. Uh, for lunch I'm not really having anything and for dinner we're having some beans. I'm just hanging out today. I woke up at 5 this morning and I exercised. I walked 11 miles. Um, I walked for 3 hours and 26 minutes. Um, I burned 1,509 calories and my average heart rate was 127. Um, feeling pretty good about it. Uh, the reason why I woke up at 5 is so then I can exercise a little extra today. Um, and altogether, I've already 200% done my move goal uh, because I burned an overall of 1,700 calories today with uh, 25,000 steps. And looking at it, this is actually my new exercise record. Huh. That, huh. That's a, this is the most exercise minutes I've ever had, which is weird. I, that doesn't seem right. I don't know, that's that's unusual, but okay. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's this new LLM called uh, Claude by the great people at um, some sort of company, Anthropic. Um, I don't know, it's cool. Um, according to this little graph, or table from this uh, video I watched. Uh, Claude 3 sauna, it's like a uh, mid version that you get for free, um, is a little better than, you know, GPT-4 in some aspects. Uh, like for example, grade school math, it's 0.3% better. Um, in graduate level reasoning, it's 5% better. Um, but it is worse in like undergraduate level knowledge and stuff and um, some like other things. I don't know. I'm going to try and use it for a little while. Right now I'm using Bing, um, which uses GPT-4, but the thing that sucks about Bing is that I have to have Edge installed on my computer, um, which is just always a horrible experience. It's on the AUR, and it's Edge, and, you know, it, you know, it's crazy to use a Linux on your computer to get away from Windows and then have Edge on it. Like, you know, that's a choice then, you know? Um, as you may be able to tell, I've changed a couple things around with my i3 configuration. Um, so now I've changed it from a red one pixel border to a sort of purplish two pixel border um, because um, I remember seeing that Brody Robertson has a two pixel border and I was like, hmm, that's, that's a little interesting. I wanna try that out. So I'm trying it out. Um, and the reason why I went for purple is kind of just cause I wanted to change, but also because I have changed my, um, my wallpaper um, they're actually, I got it on WG, there used to be a bird here, you can kind of tell where there used to be a bird, but, um, I removed the bird. Yeah, there's where the bird used to be, but the bird annoyed me, I don't want, I don't want humans in my, well, not humans, I don't want creatures in my wallpapers. So, I, um, edited it, it. I edited it a little bit um, just to stamp out the bird and you can kind of tell there's like a weird line here that doesn't really match up with the rest of the fog, but I bet you didn't even see that until I pointed it out, right? So it's, you know, it's not noticeable enough for it to be bothersome. Um, I also changed my Pi PyCom configuration. Um, you may notice that the shadow is a little more accentuated uh, and I sort of disliked how tiny the shadow was, so I kind of made a more obvious shadow. Um, another thing I did was I made it like faster to resize windows. It used to just resize by like, I think like five pixels. Now it resizes by 50 pixels, which is great, especially on a 1440p monitor. Um, another thing I did was if you have two windows open, they resize faster as well. Um, so now it makes more sense to go like this um, because in the past um, it sort of made more sense to go like this because it was just faster and it still is faster but this is still like if i'm on the keyboard you know and i want a floating window for some reason that's a little faster um what else on um i don't know if i remember telling i don't know if i told you guys this but i was having this weird issue where there were like these thick gray borders around a firefox that's just gone now i don't know what fixed it or anything it was just it was tr it was truly unusual it was really strange I like restarted my computer and then it was fine and it was gone. You know, they say that on Linux you don't have to restart. That's sort of a lie. Um, you don't have to restart. Like you can like do weird things. Like you can do weird workarounds where, uh, you know, you don't need to restart. Like you can patch in like a kernel update or something. 
Uh, I've never done that. Um, and that's important if you want like 100% uptime for like a server or something, but if you're just like running a desktop, 99% of the time it's easier to just restart your computer. So I did that and it fixed it. Um, uh, I also fixed that weird border around Firefox. I don't know if I talked about this yesterday, but um, this has been around forever. There's been this weird like transparent, like sort of glassy border around Firefox. And I always knew that it was probably like some sort of compositor issue. I fixed it, turns out it was an issue with the shadows. You may notice that this has no shadows around it. And while that does sort of suck aesthetically, um, aesthetically, um, the shadows were the reason why there is this border. Um, for some reason, it's because my compositor saw that there was like a transparent area here with the shadow and it was like, oh, there's a transparent area. I better um, uh, have it be all, be all blurry, you know? And so it basically made it blurry everywhere where there was a shadow and that's what that weird border was. Uh, but I just removed shadows on the navigator, not on the navig on the uh, sort of right click, uh, like context menu and, and that fixed it. Um, I also added, um, but it's nice because I was able to keep the shadows on the main Firefox window, so that's cool. I was also having this kind of strange issue where if I had something full screen, and I can't really describe this, right? Uh, if I had something full screened on like the monitor over on this side of my screen, um, it, no, if I had something full screened on here, on the window on this monitor over here that I'm overlapping onto, it would create a shadow. Actually, here's an, here's actually a perfect way to describe this. Um, so it would create a shadow here on my monitor uh, when something was full screen on my primary display. Um, and I was just able to fix that. Apparently that's just a setting you can turn on in your compositor. Um, I really want to get Anacron working. I have quite a few backup scripts and stuff that run on my computer, um, but they all sort of run at 2 a.m. and they don't run if my computer's off. And I like, you know, I like being able to turn off my computer, you know, and Anacron is for computers where um, they aren't necessarily on all the time, you know, and it just seems like a good thing to run, um, especially for backups and stuff like that. So I don't know. I got to figure out how to use Anacron. I've only used Cron my whole, like, uh, like Crony my whole life. So, or is it Crony? I don't know. Um, my parent's friend is here. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, all right. See you, dude.